Welcome to my channel, Light as a Feather Tarot. This is going to be for the sign of Aquarius, so this is for your sun, moon, and rising sign. Please take the messages that resonate. If the messages don't resonate, please don't make them fit. Check out your other signs. This is a general reading, so if you would like a personal reading with me, please see all of my contact information below. This is also a timeless reading, so that means when spirit brings you these messages, that's when the messages are meant. So let's go ahead and look at the energy for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Spirit, can you give me one card, please? Look at that practice patience <laughs> so i love the aquarius and i don't know if this is just something um that comes with the territory but he's very impatient <laughs> so spirit is asking for you to practice patience you know how you handle a situation will make it easier to deal with or harder patience you know definitely uh, creates harmony when you're a little bit more patient than impatient so you have communicate clearly so communication is in focus but you are air sign so it's all about you know communication and thoughts and you have within the next few weeks beautiful so let's see So Spirit, what messages does Aquarius need to know? Okay, so we're starting off with the Two of Cups. So it speaks about some type of uh, soul connection that you have with another person. This could be romantic or platonic. You have Three of Swords. So it speaks about some type of uh, past hurt. Typically, Three of Swords is something that has already happened. You know, this creates a, a healing energy. Maybe you're thinking about some type of past hurt or when something didn't quite work out. But you know, I think you know, I think you have some type of inner knowing that this, this past hurt or this past situation, it was needed. It was like they're showing me like a snake shedding its skin. It's like some type of rebirth. Like it was needed to get to the nine of cups of your contentment, of your satisfaction, of your, you know, just feeling very uh, abundant emotionally. And you have that ten of cups right here. So emotional fulfillment, happiness, joy, happy home life. And then you have the two of swords. So this is you, you know, having to make a, a difficult decision. Either this person or that person or this situation or that situation. You have the knight of wands here. So this speaks about, you know, some type of change coming in. You know, it could be some type of change of focus, some type of change of creative passion as well. This could represent a person in your life as well. You could be dealing with uh, some type of fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius in their chart. Or you could have it in your chart as well. You have the two of pentacles. So balance. Perhaps juggling finances. Or juggling people. Because you have the lover's card coming up here. So for some of you guys... This is in regards to a soul connection or relationship, or this is in regards to a choice that you need to make. So let's get a, some clarifying cards. Spirit, can you clarify the Two of Cups, please? So you have the Magician here. So this is letting me know that you have all the tools necessary to manifest um, 
the life that you want. So maybe you're manifesting this soul connection, right? Maybe maybe you are the the connection could already be there for some of you guys and you're really nurturing the soul connection that you have with this person. You're tending to it, you're taking care of it, you're investing in it. That's going to create more balance in your life in your life and that other person's life. So what about the 3 of swords? So you're focused, you're working hard, you're dedicated. Maybe you're focused on healing this past hurt. And the three of swords again. Can I get one more card? So whatever the situation was in the past, you know, I really feel like you have to be patient with yourself. Um, <clears throat> You know, I'm not really sure what happened with the situation with this person, but there's a lot of hurt here. There's a lot of sadness and, you know, maybe you're working towards making it right. You know, maybe you've apologized. Um, maybe you're just at this point, you're just putting in the effort to make things right between you and this person to create more of this inner energy of uh, harmony and satisfaction, contentment. But you're gonna, you and this person, you're gonna be moving forward successfully, right? This speaks about victory. You could be moving from one place to another. You could be traveling. But this is you, you know, taking your control back and moving forward into the energy <clears throat> of satisfaction and contentment. You have the Six of Cups here, you know, so this could, um, kids could be significant in your life. If not, this is about your comfort. This is about you moving forward with your comforts, right? And you have multiple options with the Seven of Cups coming up here. So what about the Ten of Cups, your home life, your family life, your abundance, emotional fulfillment? You're moving forward. And Spirit is saying that things are getting better. You're moving from choppy waters to smoother waters. So you're going to see things get better, you know, within a few weeks might be significant for you guys. I feel that you guys have to be patient with your with yourself, with the other person. You know, you have uh, the four of swords here. So this is you tending to yourself. This is about self-care. Make sure you're you're getting that meditation time in. Make sure you're doing breathing exercises, taking a, a hot bubble bath. Make sure you're taking care of your yourself. Because, you know, air signs with you guys, you can just be in your head and just go over and over and over and over to the point where you're just exhausted. So what about the two of swords? So with the two of swords, some type of decision you have to make. You have the star card here. I really feel like a lot of you, you know, this is this is a very healing energy. The star card speaks about some type of wish fulfillment as well. You know, the Four of Cups speaks about just being dissatisfied, potentially being a little bored. Maybe you're, you're a bit dissatisfied with having to choose between either or. Maybe you're not happy with the fact that you don't have all of the answers. You don't have 100% clarity when it comes to making this decision. So I feel like your intuition is going to be very important during that time. So with the Knight of Wands, you have the Page of Pentacles. So this is some type of messenger coming in. It's going to be providing you with some type of information that's valuable in nature. Or something of value. Something that's going to support your abundance emotionally, your family life, life happy home life. Something that's going to make you feel, you know, passionate and creative and give you that spark. It's all about divine timing with the will of fortune. So you're going to have to remember to practice patience. Patience is going to be very key 
with how you get through this situation. With this divine timing coming in and two of pentacles, I feel like more balance is going to be restored either in your love life or you and another person. You know, balance of emotional fulfillment. You know, the cup is overflowing, right? So, I mean, that's very beautiful energy, especially coming from this energy of lack and pain and loss and sorrow. Just a difficult situation. Look at that. You're leaving this behind. You're, there's no more. There's no more stress. There's no more feeling uh, tied up or bound. You're gonna feel emotionally fulfilled. You're gonna feel focused, dedicated, confident in regards to a soul connection or a choice that you have to make. So there may still be times where you are in your head about this person or the choice, right? And it could be because you, you still have a little bit of uncertainty with the person or the situation. You know, Spirit's asking you to go within, meditate, ask your angels for confirmation, signs and confirmation. But you're going to be successful, regardless if it's in a relationship with the person or a choice that you're making. With the Nine of Pentacles, you're going to be successful and you're going to be moving into this happiness, into this joy with the sun coming up. So let me get you guys a few tea leaf cards. Spirit, what additional messages does Aquarius need to know? So you have broom, new home, new attitude. Beautiful. Some of you could be getting a new home. Some of you could be moving. You have bag here, something important such as a new job or raise. Bring on the money, right? This plan that you're moving forward with, it could bring bring in that new job or that raise. You might be dealing with an older woman. Dealings or relationship with an older woman may come into play as well for some of you. Look at that mountain road. You're on the road to success. Beautiful. It's just like spirit is showing me like a sun just rising um, above the horizon, you know, and that's what I see. Things are just going to get better. They're going to, you know, be improved. You have chair filled. So someone new may, may be entering in your life. Some of you guys may be making it official. A marriage will take place either romantic or business. So some of you are, you know, you're having some type of commitment either with a person, person like an engagement or a marriage, or some of you are making the choice to move forward with this commitment, with this job offer, with this, you know, financial opportunity. So this is, this is a wonderful reading. Please comment below. Let me know how these messages are resonating with you guys. I, I enjoy reaching, reading each and every comment. So thank you so much. Please like, share, and subscribe this video. I hope you guys take care. And until next time.